The last batch of problems, problems 31 through 44, all deal with logarithms. So before we get into the specific solutions for those problems, it makes sense to take a look at the general properties of logarithms. Now, the main thing to remember is logarithms are exponents. So here, as we've had in class, you can see I've put the parallel rules between exponents and logarithms as a reminder. Now, here's the example for exponents, the properties of exponents. A is our base number and M is our exponent and here N is our exponent. When you have two numbers of the same base with different exponents and they're being multiplied, you can simply add the exponents. The parallel property for logarithms is when you have a logarithm in a specific base and two numbers are being multiplied, what you can do is you can split them apart and add the logarithms. Because logarithms signify exponents, the log base b of m is equal to some exponent. And the log in the same base, base b of n, is equal to another exponent. So we can add these two logs together, which signify exponents, just as we can uh, add these two exponents here for this same base. The base is A here, the base is B here, and we're just adding together the representation of two exponents. Here, in the law of exponents, uh, two numbers in the same base where there's division involved, we can simply subtract the exponents. Similarly, in logs, if we have a log with a specific base, and we have two numbers that are being divided. It works out to be the log base b of m over the log base b of n. And we can simply subtract the two logs. Because remember, log base b of m signifies an exponent of some sort. And log base b of n also represents an exponent. We can subtract the two just as we can subtract them here. Finally, and this seems to be a little bit confusing for some students, if we have an exponential number, a to the m power, and then that is all multiplied to the n power, then what we're actually doing is multiplying exponents. a to the m all to the n is the same as a to the m times n. For logs, when we have a log to a base b of m, and that number m is raised to an exponent, then our answer is really n times this log right here. So this log, which is an exponent, is being raised to another exponent. Remember, log base b of m signifies an exponent, similar to right here. And then that exponent is being raised to another exponent, like the n here. So we can simply multiply them when we're looking at exponents, and we can simply uh, multiply them when we're looking at logarithms, because this log base b of m signifies an exponent raised to the n power, and so we n times this exponent. The example here is fairly straightforward, and it's meant to show you that the two answers are the same. 8 squared is 64. The log base 2 of 8 to the second power is equal to 2 times the log base 2 of 8. Now 64, 2 to the sixth power is 64. The log base 2 of 8 is 3 and our rule says that we can take this exponent and put it in front of the log, here that's what we've done, and multiply that twice. 2 times 3 is the same as 6. So that's our quick recap. What we'll do now is we'll uh, start tackling problems uh, 35 through 44.